Kitaro Kosaka is a prolific anime director and animator who has worked on many big projects, such as Lupin the Third, Legend of the Gold of Babylon, Angel's Egg, and Akira, and many of Studio Ghibli's biggest films, such as Grave of the Fireflies, Palm Poco, Princess Mononoke, The Wind Rises, and many more. Kosaka's work is extremely iconic and is responsible for some of the most famous anime films, many of which have crossed over into mainstream film circles outside of anime fandom. Studio Ghibli in particular is one of the most famous anime studios that I'm sure most people know something about, even tangentially. But possibly one of his most interesting works to me is a 1993 OVA he directed called A Girl. A Girl is a romantic drama story about a girl named Mariko and her older sister named Meru who are forced to move out of their apartment because of a fire. They move in with their landlord and his handsome model son Natsume. Mariko and Natsume fall in love and eventually break up when Natsume reveals that he's interested in seeing other girls as well. They eventually get back together though as Natsume agrees to stay faithful. The story is fairly basic and cliche at points, if you were to look at it on paper or in a vacuum so to speak. But I don't think this is the correct way to view media, and I think this film really proves that. Because the point of the story is the feelings that it evokes through its presentation, both audio and visual. The most striking thing you'll notice about the presentation is that it's a silent film. Dialogue is fairly sparse, and it's only communicated through on-screen text and visual implication, aside from one important point in the film where one line of dialogue is actually spoken. The film plays with its presentation in clever ways in order to communicate character interaction. Oftentimes, the dialogue text is shown through a cutaway screen in the fashion of older silent films, but sometimes, for example, the film will show action happening on screen in a smaller box while text shows up outside of it. Clever ways of communicating dialogue to the viewer keeps the film well-paced and visually interesting throughout. The silent film approach also allows the soundtrack to really take a spotlight and set the mood for each scene. There are some moments in this film where the soundtrack may be upbeat while the on-screen action may be dramatic or sad, and this creates a sort of interesting juxtaposition position. There's a sense of melancholic undertones that pop up throughout the story, as Mariko comes into her relationship clearly unconfident if Natsume is the one for her, and that lack of confidence is amplified when he cheats on her, and is still present till the end of the film to an extent, where she's questioning if he's gonna cheat on her again. It also doesn't help that her last relationship was physically abusive, further showing the turmoil that she has experienced, but this is all displayed using a bright poppy visual aesthetic and attractive character designs. These designs communicate and animate extremely well without ever needing a voice to them. There's something really impressive about that. It shows Kosaka's strength as a visual director, which makes sense considering he's worked on some of the biggest and most popular anime films of all time. And I don't think it's a coincidence that Kosaka's character design and animation direction can be found in The Wind Rises, which has a very similar feeling in that it has happy looking character designs put against a melancholic mood. Kosaka is extremely good at expressing emotion through visuals, and A Girl is a fantastic example of that. It accomplishes what it sets out to do extremely well, and is a great 30 minute OVA that I suggest you check out if you're interested. And if you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you want more content like it in the future. I'll see you in the next video.